Kenya and the President of the Supreme Court, the Honorable Chief Justices Emeritus, Your Excellency um, Prime Cabinet Secretary, the Deputy Speaker of the National Assembly, the Governor of Nairobi, my colleague judges, our friends. Is anybody in the house not, a, uh, is there anyone in the house who is not a friend of the judiciary? <laughs> Just wondering. Um, I don't know whether I had right, but I think I had that I have to guide uh, the CJ. I'm not quite sure I know what that means. Um, but I'll do the following. I will speak on the day that I think, and I have said before, outside of the days that we make judgments, this is the most important day of the judiciary where we come uh, to return to Kenya and to her people an account of what we have done in the preceding 364 days. A day when um, if we were living in those other days, we would be talking about the pound of flesh. And um, standing where I do, I want to extend a warm welcome to you all on this most auspicious occasion, the simultaneous presentation of the judiciary's annual soldier report and the launch of the institution's strategic blueprint for the next 10 years. It is a posit that the two documents are being launched together and thus deliberate. The SOJA annual report provides a detailed snapshot of the status of the judiciary and frames the justice context from the judiciary's perspective. Taking this context into account, the STAGE strategic blueprint contains the activities and interventions the judiciary shall undertake over the next 10 years to deepen and reach expand and improve access to justice and the rule of law in our country. Not as an end in and of itself, but towards the positive social transformation of society. Particularly since the promulgation of the Constitution in the year 2010, the judiciary has been on a trajectory of transformation. The first blueprint, the JTF, the second, the SJT, and now this, the third one, the STAGE. As you are well aware, the judiciary has been implementing the STAGE vision since its launch in September 2021. Since then, research and consultations have been ongoing that have resulted in the blueprint being launched today that contains the precise methodology, activities, and interventions that will be implemented to deliver the people-centered justice outcomes in the start vision. The, uh, the development of this strategic blueprint represents an important milestone for the leadership and management of the judiciary and shall reinvigorate our reform agenda across the judiciary. The product of a highly collaborative and consultative process, the start blueprint provides the foundation upon which we shall all endeavor to fulfill our constitutional responsibility and covenant with the people of Kenya for an independent institution of excellence 
in the delivery of justice for all. The people-centered justice approach under touch is truly groundbreaking. It represents a recalibration of both our ethos and the practice of justice. Whilst we have been engaged in practices that might have been people-centered, with people-centered justice elements, the STAGE is a deliberate and structured statement and toolkit to ensure that all our activities and interventions are people-centered and result tangible and measurable socially transformative outcomes. Building from the judiciary's transformation gains over the past decade, thank you Chief Justice Motunga for starting this for us. The Stage Blueprint draws significantly from the wider global people-centered justice movement, but goes beyond it. To mention a few, there are exciting ideas and proposals on the roles of judges, judicial officers, and the judiciary, on agency, and the justice assets and capabilities and capacities of all justice actors, including individuals and communities, and on impl uh, implications of people-centered justice approach for the performance and management and measurement of judges, judicial officers, and judiciary staff. I've already said it is appropriate that the start uh, blueprint is being launched alongside the presentation of the soldier report. The report contains the context, the reality that frames all our actions and interventions. We are thus acutely cognizant of our shortcomings and our capacity vis-a-vis -vis the expectations of Kenyans for a judiciary that facilitates and, su and supports the aspirations of all Kenyans for an equitable, peaceful, prosperous, constitutional democracy based on the essential values of human rights, equality, freedom, social justice, and of course the rule of law. How we maximize our strengths, exploit existing and potential opportunities, address our challenges and weaknesses, and importantly, ensure resilience and sustainability are all inside the STAGE blueprint. I appreciate the valuable effort and input into this blueprint from your colleague judges, judicial officers, and our staff across the institution, as well as from our justice system partners and stakeholders, institutional and non-institutional. As I conclude, allow me to emphasize that at the heart of the two documents unveiled here today is one solemn prerogative, accountability to the uh, sovereign in the exercise of judicial authority. So important is this constitutional imperative um, as framed by Articles 1, 10 and 159 of the Constitution of Kenya 2010 that it was further augmented under Section 5, Subsection 2B of the Judicial Service Act, and which states, as I quote, 
given an, uh, to give an annual report to the nation on the state of the judiciary and the administration of justice, and to cause the report to be published in the Gazette, and a copy thereof sent under the hand of the Chief Justice to each of the two clerks of the two houses of parliament for it to be placed before the respective houses for debate and adoption." Unquote. Now, both the soldier report and the Sturge blueprint are not presented today for mere informational purposes. At least that's how I see it. Nor do we seek platitudes and congratulations or praise. Today, we undertake a solemn exercise, not one to be answered with praise and worship, but one that must give critical and constructive dialogue involving all stakeholders on the form and substance of justice provision in this our beloved country. Practical and productive feedback on how we can co-produce impactful and sustainable interventions that result in tangible justice dividends for the people that we serve, for the people whose authority we exercise. We have the situational analysis as presented in the soldier report we have our toolkit and transformation proposals as presented in the Sturge Blueprint, and we must now begin meaningful engagement towards improving provision of justice for all Kenyans. It is not a praise and worship occasion. And with those very many remarks, I would ask those of us in the judiciary to do the right thing because it is the right thing to do the right thing. And with those many remarks, the Honorable the Chief Justice and the friends of the judiciary here present, allow me to um, do what I consider to be a function of this office that I hold, which is to occasionally invite the Honorable the Chief Justice to talk to us, and particularly today, the Honorable the Chief Justice.